Yeah, and there's I'm like just saying. 15 companies now all working on getting into outer space, you know? Yeah. Yo, man, even calculator says they can play Doom. Is it? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Is it, um... TI-83. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, I forgot his name. The guy, the guy that made Tesla. Uh, what? Elon? Oh, my God, Elon. Okay, he's working on a, uh... What is that new thing he's working on? Like, it's like a... Twitter? <laughs> no, he's working on, like, this crazy big engine... Oh, They're, Raptor engines. Oh, there you go. They had, yeah. they had like, uh, 15 or 16 of them fire off at the same time the other day. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. You, you, you have to tell me about this, because this is my first time hearing about this. What? The okay. Raptor I'm serious. Engine? This is my first time. It's, teach me. Isn't it? It makes it go faster in space, right? For, I, for, I have for no him idea. To travel faster? No idea. Okay. I just know the name of it. Wait, wait. Start, start, from, for, wait, we'll start from the beginning. Okay, wait. so he's working on this is like his next project. This is after like Starlink, whatever. He's working on like a bigger engine that can pretty much travel faster in space. Let's give credit where credit's due. He has a team of people. Yes. About to say, about to say he's not, he's not working on okay. it. Okay. He's, but, but yeah, he's, he's, a, he's the mastermind behind it. Gotta give him a little bit of credit, yeah. too. I'm just yeah, saying. He's the, he's the salesman. Yeah, yeah. So this is like the whole paradox thing. Again, Cloverfield. Remember when they're like doing that extra energy thing? Same thing. That's what he's doing in space. Like he has to shoot this in space and fire it off in space, right? Or are they doing it on Earth? Uh, what I saw the other day was that he's developing some engine for his rockets, a new or a better engine called the Raptor, some Raptor engine. Yeah. And apparently yeah. they put like multiple of them together the other day and they all fired at the same time successfully. It was like 15, 16 of them, which is an immense amount of power. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to help space travel like a lot easier. Like go back and forth, Earth and Mars, like how he wants. You know what I'm saying? It's going to help people. Just, I guess, better transportation in space. Do I want to go to Mars this weekend? Yeah. I'm down. First class? Cool. I'm in between yeah, jobs right now. I'll so just I'm do Mars well. Only for a low price of $15 million. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what? Yeah, it's the same as like getting an apartment here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Bro, so so but I, was, I wanted to talk about this um, a couple weeks ago, but you know, I, I, we'll, we'll talk about it now. So what, what, the blue check mark. Right. Mm, yeah. So yeah, from from what I gathered, you had one. Oh, yeah, man. you can throw me under the bus. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, Billy has a blue check mark. He's a yeah. Comedy is legal now. I paid eight dollars. Yeah. Listen, I got Wait, it. That, for that's all it takes. Eight bucks. What about Instagram? Oh, no, no. Is it a subscription? Right. You have to subscribe. It's, for a, three it's Twitter Blue, which he's revamping it right now because obviously everybody on their son was making parody accounts without right. you knowing it was a parody account. You saw. Okay, first of all. There's multiple chunks to this, so let's break down. Yeah. Twitter Blue is a subscription service for Twitter that Elon is now, you know, power to the people, no more verification just for the, you know, popular, powerful people. Anybody can be verified, which... It's just his way of trying to, like, get yeah. back the $44 billion that he spent on that train I mean, wreck. Uh, well, yeah. he, he, th- there's justification to it, but... So I paid eight dollars for Twitter Blue just because I was interested. You know, I got it. I immediately canceled the subscription because I'm not going to pay eight dollars every month. I paid eight dollars just to, for the time being. Which the only difference I've seen is I have a blue check mark now. That's yeah, that's it. it really. And I've been getting an insane amount of bots followers. You know, the little sexy girls and you know. <gasps> so that's it. You get shit. more exposed to AI followers. And you paid eight dollars for that. Uh, Congratulations. I'm pretty sure they're AI followers. I haven't really paid that much attention. Some of them are. Um, some of them might not be. I, I don't know. Did they, uh, did they come to your Twitter and say, like, hey, baby, I'm horny. You want to meet up? Yeah. <laughs> say something like that? Here's my OnlyFans. Yeah. Pay five bucks, baby. <laughs> um, where was I going with that? Uh, obviously, that didn't turn out too well. He allowed you to change your name on there. <laughs> Um, I followed some guy, I forgot his name now, he had changed his name to Giant Penis, <laughs> and a picture of a giant penis, and now he cannot change his name back, oh, and yeah, this yeah, is yeah, like yeah. a successful YouTuber, who was like just joking around, yeah, and so like for the past month, all I've been seeing is him posting like, Elon please, like, this is serious, <laughs> No, like, that also happened to, uh, Doja, Doja Cat. Cat, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. what's the name now, Some, something Christmas, it's fart, I think, it was fart, are you sure it wasn't something Christmas? <laughs> Or it could have been Christmas, and then she changed it to uh, some crazy. It could, have, it could have been altered, but she changed it to Elon Musk. She like banged oh, yeah. Elon that hey, please let me change my name. And then, and then he, Elon he, Musk. Wait. And then she's like, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she, she changed. She changed, she now, changed yeah. it back. Why, why can't they just create a new account and just change the name? 
Well, because they're celebrities, and they're, yeah, they have like millions of oh, followers. Oh, yeah, that's right. Millions. Well, uh, I guess. Okay. Well, yeah, man. So, so you, you guys know like the, the origins of like how the blue check mark came to be and all that shenanigans. No. The, the whole point is to be verified, right? So, if I'm Amazon, right? If someone gets on Twitter and names himself Amazon, they then start like you know selling shit. Oh, that's my cat taking it, doing his business. So, anyways, but the whole point, the whole point is, if you're like a like a store. Right, like Amazon. So you, you you get you get on Twitter and you want to sell your stuff, and then there are other people posing as Amazon, right? And they're selling knockoff product, right? So that that's kind of like the whole point. And and the whole the, the blue check mark is to make sure that like, hey, this is the real Amazon, right? Mm-hmm. And the problem with this is, in order to get the blue check mark, you had to go through this whole verification process and whatever. But the people in Twitter, like the one, like either the software developer or someone in, in Twitter. Uh, they would reach out to people like Kyler Irving or you know or any celebrity and say, "Hey, I will give you the blue check if you give me fifteen thousand dollars." Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, seen that. plus, right? And that's how these people get verified super easily. And the thing is, like, people would trust a verified account over a non-verified account, so you can make the money back easily if you have a big enough business. Right? Hmm. So when Elon took over, he realized that, like, hey, this is kind of corrupted. You know, process where the developers are getting paid for stuff that, like, you know, that other celebrities are getting passed by. Forget that. Let's just make it like an eight dollar subscription process and just like, you know, call it a day, and then like we we reap the product, or we we reap the benefit. Yeah. Right? So. Mm. Well, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. So it's only for Twitter right now. I mean, yeah. with the blue chat. Yeah. yeah. But he's currently in the process of revamping Twitter Blue. Because of all that bullshit that was going on with parody accounts and shit, so it was supposed to be a, supposed to be a November twenty ninth re release, but I saw something he posted recently saying it was getting pushed back because they want to tweak it and you know make it better. Obviously, mm-hmm. um, I think he's going to change the color of check marks for people like you know who have status, Donald Trump. Right. <laughs> you know they'll have His like account a, got reactivated by the way. Yeah. Yeah. They'll have like a pink or something check mark, where Twitter so, blue people will have it. Wait, 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 wait. It's like a black, like a black check mark. So, so, yeah. so yeah. different. There's gonna be different color check mark. There. And then there's yeah. also an official badge underneath the name. Oh. So. Okay. So that way you know it's like an official account and not some Twitter verified user because right. they paid eight dollars a month for it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do you guys remember like how Elon bought Twitter? You guys remember that at all? I yeah, it happened a couple months ago. I think it was some kind of joke that yeah. he was like, "Man, Twitter is bullshit. There's like too much misinformation, mm-hmm. misinformation or some shit going on." Yep. He's like, "I could probably run the company better. Here's four four billion, you know." And then, I guess he went through, and then he tried to back out, and then if he did, he would go through some a bunch of legal issues. Yeah, so you do know. Good. Yeah, and then so he had to end up end up buying it in the end. So now this is where we're with Twitter two point oh with the Just- whole. Just to squeeze in the details, I think uh, he he made the joke of like buying Twitter, but when you say stuff like that, it affects the stock market. Yeah, he's so been doing the fact, that. The he's... fact that you're Elon Musk, you're not someone that can like joke around to say stuff like that. So when you say stuff like that, and you have a profit you gain by saying that, and then like you know you gain stock stock market share and all that, then like you know you're manipulating the market. Did you right? see? Oh, 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 go ahead. Yeah. So so with that being said, he says, "Hi, hey, I'm gonna buy Twitter." You know, and then when he backs out. You can't just do that because, like, the the, uh, the government is gonna look into, like, okay, how much money does Elon Musk actually have? Is he can he actually buy this? And he doesn't want the government to find out, so he ended up buying Twitter, you know, by force. He forced himself into this hand. It's a pretty funny so, situation, actually. Yeah, isn't that, isn't that crazy? <laughs> mm-hmm. So you're talking about manipulating the market, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the major problems with this Twitter blue. People were creating accounts for like military tech companies, uh, some insulin company, and they were posting like saying, "Oh, all insulin is now Lily free." Something? Lily. Oh yeah. Yeah, something Lily like that. Elon Lily. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it literally it lost like billions of dollars yeah. in like two days. The stock for that company dropped significantly. So it's like, uh, okay, we gotta do something about that, you know? Like, yeah. Pretty insane. Yeah. Crazy. Shit. 